Hiromu Arakawa's Full Metal Alchemist, the fictional country of Amestris, based on early 20th century European countries, with Prussia and the German Empire being the most notable influences, is at war from almost all sides. To be able to fight these wars, Amestris is developing new technologies and war machines. One of these war machines is the tank. Hello and welcome to another Tank Encyclopedia voiced article. I'm your host, Wood, and today I'll be covering the Briggs tank of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. If you like our videos and want to support us, please consider donating to our Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds will be used to improve future Tank Encyclopedia content. Any help is greatly appreciated. As the Full Metal Alchemist story has been adapted in three different series, these tanks and their origins differ as well. In the manga and the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood anime, these tanks were developed by Fort Briggs, while the development of the tank from the third adaptation is unknown. In this video, we will focus on the tank from the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood series. This is done because we will only make one video on the Fullmetal Alchemist tanks, and the Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood tank is the best known vehicle of the three. We do want to encourage people to take a look at the article itself, as all the tanks are analyzed extensively with potential specifications being speculated on real tank designs compared to the FMA designs. The link can be found in the description and on the website. Oh, and before we start proper, I'd just like to remind everybody that this article will contain spoilers for the Fullmetal Alchemist series. But first, a little background on the FMA universe. The story of Fullmetal Alchemist, abbreviated to FMA, takes place in the fictional country of Amestris. Amestris is in a state of constant and total war with almost all of its neighboring countries. In the north, the mighty Drachma. In the east, border conflicts with Kreta. And in the south, the principality of Arugo, basically Italy. The only country in which Amestris isn't fighting with is Xing, which is like China and Japan mixed together. And that's because there's a big desert between them. The series mostly takes place between 1911 and 1915, and the technology available to Amestris is comparable to that of the European powers during World War I, albeit with some pretty important differences. Weapons shown in the series seem to be based on real-world weapons, such as the 7.5cm Pac-40. An important difference is the widespread use of so-called automails, short for Automotive Armored Prosthesis. These highly advanced prosthesis are linked to the nervous system and function almost identically to a human limb. In this universe, alchemy is one of the most important sciences of the country. Alchemy uses transmutation circles with which an alchemist can create an object or change the structure of an object by presenting a material of equal value according to the Law of Equivalent Exchange. Skilled alchemists can undergo an examination to become state alchemists. When an alchemist becomes a state alchemist, he or she is employed by the Amestrian state military and can be called upon to fight as human weapons in times of war or does research into a very wide range of fields. The FMA manga and the FMA Brotherhood tank never got an official designation, but it's frequently referenced as the Briggs tank by the community. In the 2003 FMA adaptation, it's known as the Battle Tank, based on a trading card game. The first appearance of the Briggs tank in the FMA Brotherhood anime is episode 34, which shows the construction facility including a few Briggs tanks under construction. The development of the Briggs tank started at an unknown date at the research and development level of Fort Briggs. Fort Briggs is a military base situated at the northern border between Amestris and Drachma. Major General Oliver Mira Armstrong, the commander of Fort Briggs, wanted as many techniques in her arsenal as possible to combat Drachma. Additionally, because the fort is located at the northernmost part of Amestris, the researchers and engineers are probably some of the most knowledgeable experts in Amestris when it comes to mechanics of materials. In order to keep automails running and to prevent their users from dying from frostbite, the materials used from the automails had to comply with various specifications. It can be expected that the engineers at Briggs have developed various materials which could be used for tanks in their effort to find usable materials for automails. The hull of the Briggs tank seems to have multiple inspirations. The most obvious inspiration is the Panzer IV as the frontal hull angling and the position of the co-driver vision slit correspond to it. The exhausts on the rear sides of the hull are somewhat reminiscent of the exhaust on the Centurion. The sides of the hull are protected with side skirts, just like the Panzer IV. The suspension of the Briggs tank does not bear resemblance to either the Panzer IV suspension or the interleaved road wheel suspension found on other German tanks. The turret of the Briggs tank seems to share multiple inspirations. Its main inspiration seems to be the VK-3001H turret. This is mainly because of the general shape of the turret and the vision ports located on the sides of the vehicle. Its turret hatch configuration resembles the layout of a Tiger I. The commander's cupola looks more or less like a generic one, but with the Tiger I layout. It could be identified as a late Tiger I cupola. 
Like the rest of the specific components, the armament of the Briggs tank is unknown, but a reasonable origin of the Briggs tank's main gun can be found in the anime. The 7.5cm Pac-40 anti-tank gun is shown at multiple points throughout the series, and might have been converted to the armament of the Briggs tank. The Briggs tank was first used and tested during the winter of 1914 when the homunculus named Sloth accidentally breached Fort Briggs from the underground. Homunculi are artificial humans made with the help of philosopher stones. Their life is bound to their philosopher stone too. When a homunculus dies enough times, the energy of the stone will be depleted and the homunculus will die forever. The Briggsian soldiers quickly discovered that their weapons could not penetrate the skin of the homunculus. The alarm was raised and the military base was put on high alert. Major General Armstrong took command and the defenders of Briggs decided to use their newly built tanks to defeat the homunculus. These vehicles were not tested yet and the encounter with the homunculus was their first test run. The guns were loaded and promptly fired at it. They managed to hit the homunculus and wound him, but the homunculus simply healed his wound with the help of the Philosopher's Stone. Thinking quickly, the Major General decided that they could not defeat the creature with firepower and decided to defeat the homunculus by freezing him. She used her tank to ram the homunculus into an elevator. Once in the elevator, the homunculus was sent to one of the openings in the wall. General Armstrong's tank soon entered the elevator as well, and upon entering at the same floor, they shot the homunculus with a main gun over the edge of the wall. The homunculus, doused with fuel, froze almost immediately in a blizzard. The second usage is during Colonel Mustang's coup d'etat during the spring of 1915 in Central City, the capital of Amestris. The soldiers of Briggs and the soldiers of the eastern sector of Amestris supported Colonel Roy Mustang in his endeavor to take control of the country and overthrow Fuhrer King Bradley. The tank was transported in pieces to the large family estate of Major General Armstrong. The tank was assembled on the estate and then used to spearhead the advance to Central Command, the headquarters of the Central Army of Amestris and the seat of Fuhrer King Bradley. The tank reached Central Command and not long after, the Briggsian soldiers took them over. The Briggs tank was then positioned right in front of the stairs in the lift on the top central headquarters. Not long after the Briggsian soldiers celebrated the success of their coup, they were abruptly interrupted by Fuhrer King Bradley over the radio, announcing his survival of the bombing and his return to the central to personally assume command and squash the coup. King Bradley arrived at the main gate of the central command stating, why should I enter my own palace from the back entrance? When King Bradley engages the tank in battle, he manages to cut a tank shell in half with his sword after it was fired upon him and proceeds to advance on it. As a panic reaction, the crew of the tank starts reversing at high speed to the staircase. By using the blast of a shell, King Bradley launches himself to the tank and stabs the driver through the vision port. While the co-driver is ordered to take over, King Bradley cuts through both tracks of the Briggs tank. The commander of the tank opens his hatch in an attempt to shoot King Bradley with his pistol, but is killed in the attempt. King Bradley subsequently throws a grenade in the tank and destroys it. The Briggs tank of the FMA Brotherhood anime is unrealistic for its 1914 time period. The vehicle is almost completely based on a tank developed in 1935, and some specific features, like the main gun and side skirts, appeared a lot later as well. Considering this is the first tank of Amestris, and possibly the world, the advancements in this tank are simply too great. Apart from its era, the anime Briggs tank is a reasonably realistic vehicle. This is not surprising, since it's basically a Panzer IV. The Briggs anime tank is a good fantasy tank, but maybe not very original, but also not residing in the realms of absurdity. Overall, the artists of all three adaptations can be commended for using real aspects from real vehicles. This shows that they put thought into how a tank is supposed to look instead of just drawing something that resembles a tank, but is completely ridiculous. The tanks help strengthen certain aspects of the overall setting. As such, the tanks have a real contribution to the adaptations, albeit mostly just for tank enthusiasts. Thank you all for watching. If you like our videos and want to support us, again, please consider donating on Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds will be used to improve future tank encyclopedia content. Until then, keep us in your sights.